We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the Tampa Bay Rays and the Houston Astros. And that'll bring up Joey Wendell. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Two and one to the Rays leadoff batter. Two one pitches a knuckle curve taken for called strike two. Two balls two strikes a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So Dan what was your approach on the mound in that count. Do you still pitch for the strikeout here. Action pitch right here two two. The last thing you want to do is to fall behind the count three two. Liner towards second. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Batting third. The right fielder. Off the line. So Meadows. now to the plate. Austin Meadows. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Into the corner and slicing foul. Mm -hmm. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Oh, and a great knuckle curve just buckled him there, and there are two gone. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Brandon Lowe, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Left side, but well foul. Popped him up. Bregman will put this one away and the side is retired. Settling in now, Michael Brantley. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. And he struck him out. And that'll bring up the former first rounder Alex Bregman comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. One and two now. Bases are empty one man out. And a sliders in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. The 2 2 is laid off and the count runs full. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. They haven't played perfectly as it's hit on the ground. Throw on to first, two gone. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. He went deep in the contest last night. Altuve. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. Kiermaier will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. G Man Choi, the next to hit. Past meetings against Lance McCullers. He's hitless in three at bats. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. A bouncer to the left side. Bregman has it. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Coming to the plate now, Willie Adamas, and he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. The 1-1 is looked at for ball number two. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Correa backs up and takes care of it. Two away. And that'll bring in Yandy Diaz. He's hitting 333 in the series, two for six. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. And it's one and two. One and two. Easy fly ball into shallow center field. Springer is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired.
Into the box now, Jordan Alvarez. He's got three hits in six tries for the series. The 1-1 home. Line, but speared on a hop. And a good throw gets him one gone. So here's Yuli Gurriel, and it's been a big series for him with the bat. He's collected eight hits already. The 1-1 one -one is swung on and missed for strike number two. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. That hook stayed up in the zone. You can see he struggled with that curveball early. He's trying to find that release point with his off-speed pitches. We'll have to see if he can find the feel for that thing moving forward. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Kiermaier's got a read on it. And he makes the catch for the second out. So bases are empty here with two gone. And former World Series MVP George Springer bats next. Set and the two and one pitch. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Hey, this guy's got an 89 mile an hour changeup. There was a time when 89 was a pretty good fastball. The flip to the pitcher covering as that will retire the side. Set to get his evening at the plate started, Mike Zanino, batting just a notch below 300 so far on the season. A 1 1. This is on the ground over to first. Oh, look at the sliding stop. It's there. He got him. So here's Kevin Kiermeyer. He's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. Chopped to third. He's got to hurry. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Now batting. The designated hitter. There's a look over to first. A dive, but he's back. At the plate now, Joey Wendell. High and wide. Two balls and a strike. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. Reddick is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. So two are gone here in the Tampa Bay third inning. And up next will be the right-handed hitting Jose Martinez. Now a throw over, and the runner back. Kiermaier is off of first with two away. He's going. Kiermaier's running. That's a strike to throw down. He is not in time as he just gets in ahead of the throw. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Here's Carlos Correa now. Four hits in 11 tries in the series so far. Now the 2 1 pitch is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Man, that's another ugly swing right there. This team is just struggling so mightily to get on base. They've looked off balance all game. Full count, three and two. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that nearly broke our scoreless tie. Instead, it's a foul ball. Now a little dribbler here off to the right side of the mound. And that's the first out. 
One out now in the Houston third. And that brings up the former Gold Glover, Josh Reddick. Astros still have yet to tally their first hit in this one. And he lays off this one down and in for ball two. That one's right down the middle for a strike with the fastball. Reddick waiting, and now the pitch. Hey, I know the idea is to try to get the guy to swing on a 2-2 pitch, right? But that one was so low, I don't know anybody that would have swung at that pitch. High in the air down the right field line. And foul. Eighth pitch of the at-bat coming up. Get down the line at first. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Neither guy given in. Here's the next one. Popped him up. Diaz is under it. He hauls it in without any trouble. And there are two away. So striding forward now, Garrett Stubbs. First at bat for him in this one. He was one for four with a double in the ball game last night. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one, two. Swing and a line drive. Foul. A two and two count to the Astros catcher. And this will be fouled away. The two two. Fouled off. On the eighth pitch of the at bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down and the inning is over. Striding in, Austin Meadows. He'll lead it off against Lance McCullers. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? Oh, you have to love it. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low-scoring pitcher's duel for once. Count still full, 3 and 2. The payoff pitch one more time. Line drive to left. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two-base hit. Now batting, number eight. Standing in now, Brandon Lowe. And a knuckle curve missed that time, two and one. Drilled right back up the middle. And that is through into center field. A base hit. And the run will score as the Rays cash in on an early 1-0 lead. Now batting the first base. G-Man Choi. To the plate now. G-Man Choi. Two balls and a strike to the Rays first baseman. Fastball is looked at for strike two. Love the fact the pitcher challenged him in that spot right there. Didn't love the location. But I got to be honest with you. I think he's got him on his heels right now. Don't be shocked if he attacks his own again. On to the pitcher covering in time. It's a double play. Now batting. So base is empty now after the double play. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Willie Adamas. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Takes that one a little bit low. Three balls and a strike now. If I'm in the box right now, I'm coming unglued. He is going to throw something over the heart of the plate. Three and two now. Now the payoff pitch home. Takes this the other way to right. And that's a base hit. One for two in his first couple of plate appearances. The third baseman, number two, 
Yandi Diaz. In now, Yandi Diaz. Fouled away. He's ready with the 2 2 pitch. That misses, and it's going to set up a big pitch now. Three and two. Three two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Leaps and makes a terrific catch, and with that, the side is retired. Here's Michael Brantley looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Throw on to first in time, one away. And that'll bring up Alex Bregman. And he comes in following a year in which he was named the American League's silver slugger for third baseman. The one-two. Hey, that's a nice take by the batter right there, but that's a non-competitive off-speed pitch. Got to do better to at least entice a swing. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off-speed. Full count now. Three and two. Three two are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. Throw just does beat him to the bag, as that was pretty close. So bases are empty here with two gone. And striding in the speedy second baseman, Jose Altuve. The one-two. High in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Another 1-2 delivery. Swing and a miss on the breaking ball, and he sets him down for out number three. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Mike Zanino. He got on top of one and was a ground-out victim last time. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Shin high. That's taken for a ball. And it's fouled away. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. It's been a great job so far by the eight-hole hitter. If he finds a way to get on base, this could spell for a huge end. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight-pitch at-bat. Now the one-and-one one pitch. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. See, guys, he is human. Occasionally an ugly swing right there. But he's having a monster season, so I'm going to give him a free pass. And indeed, the throw will finish him off as they get the put out at first, and there are two away now. Back to the top of the order now, and digging in next will be Joey Wendell. The 1-1. One -one. Swing and a ball line hard towards short. But this won't get by the shortstop as he's there to take it in for the third out. Now to the plate, Jordan Alvarez. He's 0 for 1 thus far. We're moving through the middle of this ball game right now. They want to get things going. How about trying to get some base runners on or at least get a base hit? They don't have any hits going into this part of the game. Fastball, and hmm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's 3 and 1. Great A.B. up until this point. A walk right here could really just infuse some confidence into this lineup. Another payoff pitch. Swing and a miss, and he'll start the fifth the same way he ended the fourth with a punch out. One away. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And digging into bat next, the Cuban import, Yuli Gurriel. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Fastball, but he's losing it a bit here to three and one now. 
Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Hey, boys, you talking about getting your A swing off right here? That's what it looks like. A guy with massive power letting it eat. And the perfect game will go by the wayside here as this pitch misses for ball four. Into the box now, George Springer. And if you remember, he took home a Silver Slugger Award for AL Outfielders a year ago. And the pitch misses low and away for ball two. Took a good cut that time, but comes up empty two and two. Good thing he didn't make contact with that pitch. Only thing he could do is probably hit that on the ground. It could be a double play ball. And a full count to George Springer. It's three and two. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at. And if not, it's ball four anyways. So next to swing the bat will be Carlos Correa. As he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to 2-1 and one now. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Astro shortstop in front with a three and one count. And that misses. Ball four. And he's going to need to settle down in a hurry now because he's in a peck of trouble. Brendan McCain was called upon to pitch, really needing that double play ball. Bases are loaded here with only one man out. Josh Reddick will be the first to meet him here, and he'll do so in an enviable situation indeed. Bases loaded and only one out now. And there's the first hit of the game for Houston. And the runner from third crosses the plate. It's one to one. Into the box now, Garrett Stubbs. Pops this one up, and that'll get down for a base hit. One run is scored. Throw into third, and now they'll at least get an out at third here as he's tagged out, but two runs are already in to score. Now a throw over to first, and he's back in standing. Into the box, Michael Brantley. Pitch is high. The throw is not going to get him as he swipes second. Three balls and a strike to Houston's left fielder. Well, I think he's got to find a way out of this jam and limit the damage. If he's unable to do that, this game could get away from him. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. Three runs already home here. Swing and a ball hit out toward right center. Kiermaier on the run. And this is hauled in on the run as he takes quite a tumble but hangs on. And the inning is over. Ready for another chance? Jose Martinez. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Hit in the air out to center field. Therefore, it is Springer, and he's got it for the first out. Up next for the Rays, Austin Meadows. He's working on a one-for-two game so far. A ball and two strikes now. We're in the sixth inning here in a three-to-one ball game. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. Right guy, right spot. This is one of the better hitters in their lineup. Just the guy they want to see coming up now to get this inning going. Oh, and a great knuckle curve just buckled him there, and there are two gone. Now Stepping in and ready for another three. shot. Brandon Lowe, a hit in two tries for him so far. Swing and a liner. Foul. And another foul ball. 
One run, five hits, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Diego Castillo enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 63. So up to the plate next will be Jose Altuve. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Pops this one up. Choi is there for it. Makes the play one away. Digging in, Jordan Alvarez. He's grounded out and struck out in his two trips to the plate. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Now here's the pitch. Popped him up. Adamas takes charge out there and he stays with it for the second out. The first now with the plate, Yuli Gurriel comes Yuli into this FG. at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. If you're at the plate right now, you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. You have to be aggressive in the zone right here. The center fielder, number four, Joe So now to the plate, George Springer. Good slider there, but laid off and called the ball low. And got him to go down after that one. It's two and two. From the belt, kicks and deals to third. Reined in on to second for the force out, and the side is retired. Chris Davinsky is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 47. Stepping in, G-Man Choi. He was a double play victim last time around. He doesn't have to worry about that in this situation, Maddie. No one on base right now. Try and get something up so you can drive the baseball. And a good take there as they'll have a leadoff man aboard to start the seventh. It's ball four. Number one. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And up next will be Willie Adamas. Now the one and one pitch. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Brantley is under it. Looks it into his glove. And there's one gone. Now at the plate, Yandy Diaz. He has flied and lined out in two trips in this one. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone. And there are two gone. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and that'll bring up the catcher, Mike Zanino. Now the 2 1 pitch. Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats and left. The 2 2. Again, he sends it out of play. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Now a swing and a fly ball. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Colin Poche gets the call from the now pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Bottom of the inning now. Striding into the box, Carlos Correa. On 
down. They'll run this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Well, that's a jam shot right there. That's as good as it gets, in my opinion. Ooh, up and in. Fielded cleanly. Throw in time as he's called out on a bang-bang play at first. So here's Josh Reddick, one for two in the ball game thus far. We're in the seventh inning with a good finish brewing. Three to one our score. Reddick behind a ball and two strikes. Uh, trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. Ground ball sent back up the middle. He's got it. And that's the second out. Now at the plate, Garrett Stubbs. In his last appearance, he singled home a pair of runs. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. Ryan Presley will come on in relief now as he'll make his 10th appearance of the season. Number 55. Standing in, Kevin Kiermeyer. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. The one-two. Ooh, and heads up as this is pulled foul. Here's another one-two. Oh, and there's the good curveball as he set down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Now batting. Joey Wendell digs in now. He struggled at the top of the lineup in this one, hitless to this point. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Down the left field line and deep. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And he pops him up. Drifting toward the left side of the infield. And there's out number two. Digging in. Jose Martinez. He flew out in his last at bat. One run. Five hits. And no errors for Tampa Bay so far. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. But that'll ricochet off the facade out there in left center. The relay, and he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. Now back, the right field. Off the middle. At the plate now, Austin Meadows. In there at the letters, one and two now. On the ground, back up the box, and it'll get through into center field, a base hit. But not in time as the run scores, and the lead is trimmed to one. Joe Smith enters the ball game out of the pen, now looking for the final out here number in the top eight. of inning number Your eight. Complete. Now pitching for the Astros, number 38. Go. Stepping in now, Smith. Brandon Lowe. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Springer has a read on it. And that's the third out. Oliver Drake is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Digging in, Michael Brantley. It was a walk in his last trip. One and one, here it is. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Oh, 
And he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. Stepping into the box, Alex Bregman. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Now the three and two pitch. Line drive, base hit down the line. Now back, second baseman, Jose Altuve. In now, Jose Altuve. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right, out of play. This one, everything we could have hoped for. Three to two in inning number eight. Hit hard on the ground is short. Adamas brings it in. Throw gets him. Two down. So striding in, Jordan Alvarez. Runner in scoring position with two down. Alvarez. Split fingered pitch that's by him for strike two. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate. And this ball's down, and that could bring in a run. Now a long throw home. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. Jose Alvarado enters here looking to get the final out before now the ninth inning. The first baseman, Yuliette. At the plate, Yuli Guriel. Shin high, that's taken for a ball. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. And he misses ball four, so he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Two men are on with two men out. High and deep down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Rolled slowly down the first baseline. But a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. Martinez has to retreat to the track, but he has it to retire the side. Roberto Ozuna comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Digging in to try it again. G-Man Chuga. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Looking for base runners here as they're down two playing on the road. Not an easy thing to do, trying to score runs or bunch hits together off of a closer. Ball even at two and two. Swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. The batter, number one. Digging in once again, Good Willie Adamas. Willie. He's got a hit Adamas. in three at bats to this point. That's Cut four. fastball that time, but he doesn't bite, and now it's three and one. Yandy Diaz waits on deck. Huh. Fastball is taken for a strike, and he runs it full three and two. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. The first baseman. Faces are empty here with two men out. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Brantley is under it. Makes the catch, and that's the ball game. Wow, another game and another night to celebrate another victory. I'm just excited we've been able to be here to witness this amazing streak.
There's nothing prettier in the world than good baseball, and that's just what they're giving us. 4-2 to two the final score tonight. The Houston Astros used a nice fifth inning to take the lead, and they never gave it back. Lance McCullers wins his third of the season. Roberto Ozuna hammers down the save, his sixth. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Fans are final line for tonight. First for the victorious Astros, four runs on five hits. No error. They left five men on base. For the Rays, two runs, seven hits, no error. They left five men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 54 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely.